Hey friends! In this video I want to show you some things about our properties in Shopware 6. The properties offer you the possibility to provide your products with filterable information. Furthermore, the properties are used as a basis for the generation of variants. For this purpose, you can create various properties and assign corresponding options to them, for example, the property size with the options XS, S, M, L, XL and XXL. So let's go to the overview. You get to the overview over catalogs and then properties. Uh, you will first find an overview of the already available properties with the corresponding property values and an yeah, optional description. It is also shown um, here whether the properties are displayed in the product filters or not. On the right side of each line, you can use the context menu to delete or edit the property. Um, by clicking the button Add Property, uh, you can open the mask for creating a new property. Um, at this point, it's very important to keep in mind. When deleting a property, please note that the property with all options will be removed from all products to which it is assigned. So that is very important to know. So let's add a new property. In the basis information, you first enter the name. Uh, for example, let's choose size. Uh, the name will then be displayed later, for example, for the products on the detail page in the product description um, or in the filters in the product listing. Uh, you can add a description for your property and you can select uh, yeah, whether the property should be displayed in the product filters of product lists. Uh, three different or no, four different views are available for the display in the front end, uh, in the storefront. Uh, you can choose image, text, drop down, or color. For the sorting, you can choose between alphanumeric and custom. And down here, you can yeah enter the position, whether it's position one, two, three, or whatever. To add property values, we first have to hit the save button and then we can yeah, edit or add our property values. To add a value, just click on add value. Then uh, we've got the possibility to yeah, enter the name, the position, the color or the image. So if you've selected the yeah, value display type text. You can enter your name for the text here. For example, S for our size. Um, if you've chosen color, you can add your color here or image, um, just upload a file or choose a file from your media. Then click on apply and then you can see your yeah, property value your new one in the overview of the values. So if you are done with your yeah, configurations, um, just click the hit save button, uh, go back, and then you can see your yeah, property in the overview. So this is the overview or this is the overview of your properties. To make it a bit more clearer where you can find the properties um, or the or in the products, just go under products, open any product, uh, let's choose the variant product, and then go under specifications. Scroll a bit down and then you'll find the place where the properties are uh, listed. So these are the properties which are assigned to this uh, variant product. Uh, in this case it's material and size. To generate variants with properties, just go under Variants, 
In this case, obviously, we've already got some. But if you would generate new variants, just click on generate variant and select another property for this one. Then just click on generate variants and then you've done. So you see, it's not that difficult to yeah, uh, create variants or create properties for variants. Um, yeah, so that's it for, for this video. If you want to read about the variants, uh, the, the properties a bit more, just go under docs.shopware.com. There you'll find this video and yeah, our documentation about the properties. Yeah, bye bye. Uh, see you in the next video.